This is the new Lexus LC500, a unique and slick car for sure. Everything at first glance about this car just makes it look futuristic, like it was crafted by aliens. It was based on the 2012 LF LC concept first introduced to us back in 2016. In this video, I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about the new 2022 2023 LC model. If you do enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe and check out my channel for a whole range of other car report videos. What's got everyone turning heads for this car is the new bespoke build configurator. Lexus will actually allow you to choose from a huge list of custom exterior add-ons, so your Lexus is unique to you. The front grille is stretched lower than ever, with a tighter sort of squeeze in the middle. The daytime running lights sort of look like a Nike tip with intakes vertically positioned in front of the wheel arches. The whole configuration of the body just molds together perfectly. They come with a 21 inch forged alloy wheels with sports package, which is new. Along the side, we have the rear wheel arch intakes with over pronounced long gated side trim at the bottom, running all the way to the front wheel arches. From some angles, it sort of looks like the shape of a Jaguar F-Type if you remove the badges. Personally, that's what I think. Let me know your thoughts by commenting down below. The rear view window comes flush down to the boot, sort of like an Audi TT style, but not as long. The top part of the boot lid where the logo sits looks sort of squished with a lot of edging and detail designs going on. As we come further down the back, it becomes more simpler. Two very large exhaust outlets and sort of a sideways Y shape to the brake like styles. Overall, I'm extremely happy with Lexus on the exterior design. A fantastic job has been done. It's slick, modern and fits both young and older business like minded people. Jumping out of this car in a company director suit slash dress, people will know you mean business. The LC comes with one engine size and you won't be disappointed. A 5 litre V8 pushing 471 brake horsepower all the way to 7100 RPM. The engine comes with a basic four year warranty or for the first 50,000 miles. It's a 32 valve double overhead cam engine with the ability to push a max payload of 398 pound feet of torque. The transmission is a 10 speed shiftable automatic with only a rear wheel drive setup. The LC500 doesn't offer the same performance as other sports cars around this price range. It will do 0 to 62 miles an hour in 4.9 seconds with the lack of only being a rear wheel drive car and pure engine power. If we compare this to a similarly priced car, say the Porsche 911S, it will do 0 to 62 miles an hour in just 3.2 seconds. However, this car isn't built for racing or launch control. It's built for comfort and luxury driving, sort of like a Bentley. The suspension on the CL500 excels very much, with four wheel independent suspension plus front and rear stability bars makes this car feel like you're riding on a cloud. The large 21 inch alloys help out a lot more and creates a good balance with the different modes. Regarding the road services, you'll get some tyre noise at high speeds and some wind noises too. Acceleration doesn't match the V8 engine under the bonnet. It's a bit slow at pulling away, however though it still does sound like a V8 for sure. Furthermore, it does balance the power well between comfort and luxury. The chassis has been enhanced for revised suspension, allowing for high response handling. However, for around an extra £10,000, you can get the dynamic handling package, which includes active rear steering, variable gear ratio steering, rear wing, parking assistance, large performance brakes, sport seats, carbon fiber roof, and much more. The drive on this car will 100% excel your need for comfort. Furthermore, it's not a fun car to be thrown around corners in sports mode. The curb weight comes in at just under two tons, 1,937 kg. So you're really going to have to work if you want to thrash this car about. Of course, with lots of different exterior extras, you can just add on such as carbon splitters and spoilers will affect the response of this car on the road too. Now this car being a five litre V8, the MPG isn't going to be great. On average, Lexus claims you will see 21.7 miles to the gallon. For you business city drivers, it will be more around 16 MPG and for you long motorway drivers you'll be hitting heights of 25 miles to the gallon. You'll find driving this machine in automatic comfort mode the car will want to reach higher gears more quickly. Cruise control in this car is great not being aggressive but gently increasing and decreasing speeds on longer drives. Personally I prefer this as the drive is much smoother and softer. 
very similar to the cruise control on an Audi car. The interior of this car just screams luxury. Compared to a BMW or Audi, this Lexus has so much more to offer. As you're welcomed into the car, you sit yourself into some lovely high-end leather seats. The view is wide, the hood slopes beautiful as you're looking down the bonnet. You have this giant steering wheel that feels wonderful to touch. Everything is laid out for all ages to understand and work around. The display is big and easy to read. Although I'm not a fan of the rev and speed dial merged together. I enjoy seeing the difference between the two clearly. Unfortunately, you can't split this like you can in modern cars. It's hard embedded into the design. Do you agree? Let me know your thoughts by commenting down below. The range of colours that Lexus offers is a vast selection. You'll never find someone having the same colour choice as you, with seats, interior and exterior. And while you have rear seats too, the room is limited and small, best used for stowing away your bags for storage, not taking more than one passenger with you at one time. The most frustrating aspect of this interior is the awkward touchpad interface, which can be distracting and hard to use during drives. As you have to reach around your large steering wheel and the passengers can't really do much either, with the large padded support running between them and the centre console. So, what's the damage if you want to grab yourself one of these new 2022-2023 Lexus LC500? They start at the price range of around £85,000, with added extras such as the touring package, sports package and dynamic handling package, you could be looking at an extra £20,000, which just pushes you over into the six-figure price range. Personally, I really do love this car. It would be an amazing commuter for me too, in a luxury business-like manner. If you're looking for a car to burn rubber and throw around but has some higher end luxuries, have a look at the new Jaguar F-Type P575. As for the same price, you can get a more sportier car with higher performance and better MPG. If you do want to watch the review on my new Jaguar F-Type P575, click the video in front of you right now.